It is 20 minutes before 9 o'clock. Doctors across the U.S. and parts of Europe say a condition that looks similar to Kawasaki disease is believed to be related to the coronavirus, and it's sending children to the hospital with inflammation throughout their bodies. As of now, there is no cure. Doctors are only able to basically manage the symptoms. Joining me now to discuss the condition and the warning signs is Dr. Megan Brown, Director of Pediatric ER at Memorial Hospital. Doctor, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Would you explain what Kawasaki disease is and how this is similar to what these children are experiencing? So Kawasaki is um, it's an inflammatory process. Um, the kids generally, they can start with red eyes, they can start with a rash, um, they get swelling around their neck. Um, some kids get swelling to their hands and feet. Um, they, it's a process and we don't really know what causes it. Um, but it seems like it's a reaction from some kind of infection that the body that the body takes. Um, they get high fevers typically for about five days at least. And and what age group does this usually impact the most? Usually over two years of age. Although you can have it under two, um, I think that there's actually some cases that have been in New York that are under two. Um, but typically it's two years to about teenage years. And, and I mean, can this kill a child? So typically it doesn't, um, typically it's, so we just support them. There's nothing that we can do to treat them, um, but we support them. And usually the kids do pretty decently, but occasionally some of the kids have died. Mm. And so how are these children catching this? So it's, it's not like an infection. You don't catch it. Um, it's, it's a reaction to an infection that you've had. So it's the body's immune system fighting against that infection. Oh, which makes sense. And so these are, though, from the, what, what research we've seen, uh, you know, in Europe as well as in New York, directly related to an infection of COVID-19, correct? That's the thought process, yes. And this is basically the child's body, body's way of, of somehow maybe trying to fight it off or just what happens to the child's body uh, when they're infected with the virus. Exactly. So I, I have to tell you, um, I, I'm, I'm always astounded by, um, particularly since we've entered phase one in my own neighborhood, um, riding around on the bike, maybe with my children, at how many groups of kids I see. Side by side, hanging out outside the ice cream shop, waiting to go in, putting their arms around one another, touching one another, riding bikes side by side. What is your message to parents? Because I think that there is this theory that now that we're in phase one, great, everything's good, back to normal, despite what we're telling everyone. So, yes, I mean, it's good that kids are getting out. Everybody needs some fresh air and some, you know, just relaxation time. But the parents still need to stress to the kids that they still need to do social distancing. Um, so, you know, they need to be at least six feet apart, which is very difficult. And it might require that the parents are actually around the kids to make sure that they're keeping that distance. And given the fact also is, do, do you think that parents have an understanding, and even teenagers as an example, uh, that while most of the serious cases, and like 85 to 90 percent of those, those infected with COVID-19, involve the, the older, elderly people, as we are now seeing based on this new data that's coming out, kids can get this and can get very sick. Yes, um, and so the part of the problem is is that a lot of the kids are asymptomatic. They don't show any symptoms, and so the parents think, well, they're they're good. They're, they haven't been sick at all. We don't have to worry about it. Um, but that's been proven wrong because a lot of the kids that are coming up with this inflammatory process have been tested, and they've shown that they have had COVID-19. It's food for thought and just a reminder, we are not out of the woods yet, not at least until hopefully we have a vaccine sooner than later. Uh, Dr. Megan Brown is, the, is with the pediatrics department, in fact, uh, with Memorial Hospital. Thank you, doctor, for being here, director of pediatrics. We'll be right Thank back. Thank you.